Okay guys, today we're going to continue with our sticking. Yes, uh, last week we did rudiments and sticking, and you know, everything is sticking. And uh, it's like odd times. Uh, a, a slogan that I have with odd times is, you can break everything down, down in twos and threes. And sticking uh, is a huge part of drumming, but it's what we do with it. Uh, dynamics, ghost notes, volume. And that's what makes sticking special. And because there's a melodic void in drums, we don't deal with notes. Sticking makes it possible, makes it possible for us to be more emotional. And uh, it includes ghost notes, like I said, and, and volume. And it makes everything uh, uh, more emotional rather than playing everything uh, the same. You know, and uh, even though a, a lot of us want to play like drum machines today, we used to run away from that. You know, now now we put things on the drum set to make it sound like more like a drum machine. But if everything was quantized, we'd sound like this. You know, and and, and that that's not. We don't play like that, thank God. So this lesson number fifteen, we're gonna do sixteenth notes, and we're gonna you do it continuously, and. We, you can break it up, you can play very linear, where you're not taking a break in between hands, or, or uh, the bass drum is, is, is probably not going to be like that for most of you. But we have our options of playing on the one, one, E, and duh. So we can do things like this. Race notes are almost like the flam. It's almost like the stick before the flam. You're just kind of feeling it. So you're not, you're not playing a full stroke. You just like, you're barely just touching the drum. Very sensitive stroke, and that's why it sounds so good. Because there's that little offbeat happening, and it makes it sound like you're doing a lot of stuff, and just makes it. It's a very grooving kind of a thing, and it sounds good. But this is why this thing is good. This thing is good because you start getting into things like this. In other words, you, it, it makes things funky, uh, and just being able to play uh, uh, with, with your limbs, you know? simple, but just that staying on the 16th note patterns, you just come up with a lot of things, and, and we'll continue. Uh, let's play uh, something else real simple. away from that that it gets us away from playing every note the same and and uh, and it gives us a more dynamic range by uh, and sticking like I said is everything it, it, it sticking is uh, if our sticking isn't correct then nothing's gonna be correct and by sticking it means anything it means any kind of any kind of sticking you can come up with with the feet with double bass drums with with the hands so it's very important to begin with something simple with 16 notes and another thing you can do is like play like three one knee and down so different 
I'm, I'm going. So it just the hi hat alone. I'm doing. I'm playing really a couple grace notes and then accents. You see where you can go with this? It just continues on and on. And and you can. Now I know I'm being kind of simple here, but but just start out simple. Something. That sounds and it's really one and then two again. Four and three. You know, and then we get into polyrhythms and stuff like that. So, you know, a uh, 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 nice simple lesson today, but I'm telling you, the sticking thing, and uh, I, I just touched on, just touched on what you can do. There's a lot of stuff you can do with stickings, and. Uh, and it, it's 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 fun. Uh, you can do so much with the bass drum. Start out with sixteen notes. Then you can do. You start to get into this, you know thirty seconds combined with the sixteen notes and stuff like that. So you know, have fun, and I'll see you next week.